All right, guys, I'm gonna admit that I made a mistake here on the 94 Honda Magna. So I went through and I did a whole video for you guys on adjusting this chain. First, I cleaned it and everything. And uh, then I adjusted it and thought I was good. And then I took it for a half hour ride and it was binding up. Look at this, there is no, no travel whatsoever. So what I did was adjusted it, apparently not at the tightest point. So I've moved my bike around. Now this doesn't have a center stand and I don't have a rear uh, track stand or anything handy right now. So what I did was pushed it around till I found this very, very tight spot. And there is almost no movement here. And this needs about an inch of movement. And we got nothing. So I'm gonna have to adjust this out. And we're gonna have to move this, actually move this in. So right now, we're just beyond, just beyond the second line. And uh, I would say we probably have a little bit more room to move. And I may not have to move this all that much. So I'm gonna have to, open up the I mean it ran it ran fine but you could feel it get tight every rotation and it was not good and I felt bad because I rode it a half hour away and then I had to ride it a half hour home so hopefully I did not hurt my chain uh, it seems okay but I never did lube it up after I cleaned it so now it's been sitting outside anyway we're gonna have to do this and I believe like I said it should be at the tightest point right now because it doesn't even move at all. And as I said in the previous recordings, I'm a shaft drive guy and chains are really kind of new to me. Caring for them and uh, adjusting them are not my specialty, but this thing was way loose and I'm afraid I'm going to have to go loose again. And uh, maybe this chain's just worn out and I don't know it but I'm gonna adjust it enough that I have an inch of play right here. Hopefully that's not too much, that it's too much slack for when it's loose. Um, chains do wear and they do get tight spots and it's normal, but hopefully, I mean, my sprocket still looks pretty good. And uh, hopefully uh, I can get this thing back in service. So I'm gonna go over here and I believe the axle nut here is a 27 but I have a 28 and uh, it's been working to, to loosen it up if it's a 27 maybe I'll I'll have to adjust yeah it could be a little loose but I haven't had trouble I'm gonna open this up and then we have to adjust these little guys here and I believe I think it's a 14 on the adjuster screw. Yep, it's a 14 on the adjuster screw. And then this bike must have a replacement screw because this side's what, a 12? This side's a 13. And the other side's a 12. So at least I have this to do my adjustments. So anyway, loosen this up and then we'll uh, do some adjustments. All right, as you can see, it did get dark in the meantime because as soon as I started making that video, it started pouring down rain, so now it's dark. But uh, I have a flashlight and my phone has a nice light on the back of the phone for my camera. So we're going to have to move these in just a hair. Just need to, I guess... Uh, Let's, I don't know, we can count the turns, I guess. Ugh. But basically we're gonna line it up with that line, I think, right there. And uh, use the 14, obviously. And then we'll uh, knock the rear tire around, make sure it's, so there we go. There's one quarter turn and another quarter turn, right there. We're just starting to see that line in there. And uh, I'm going to do that the same on the other side. And then we're going to give the chain a little test and see where we're at. And then, of course, we're going to have to knock the rear wheel just to make sure it actually moved. 
And I'll tell you for absolutely sure, the other side is being pulled by the chain. This side didn't actually move. It was just kind of loosening it up right here. And uh, I had to knock the wheel around a little bit. So we are just seeing that line. And if that looks level on both sides, then I can go ahead and check my chain. Make sure I've got about an inch of travel. I think we're about level. And uh, there's really only one way to check this if you want to measure. And I don't really know how to do it on this bike because like, this is basically the only way to look at it. If I measure there, it's not gonna be equal to the nut on the other side. So anyway, I'm curious. We do have probably enough travel to be exactly where we want. This is the tightest point and it looks like I need to go get my tape measure, but it looks pretty. All right, so here we are. Like I said, this is the tightest point of the chain when, it, when I parked it and uh, it's not floppy for sure. And uh, you want to find actually the midpoint of the chain, so between front and rear sprocket, or the largest travel, which should be midpoint between the chain. You can see my chain was cleaned and uh, still looks pretty good. I do need to oil it. But uh, if we can, we're supposed to have an inch of, of uh, travel. And uh, obviously, if this is the tightest point, we have about an inch of travel and uh, it looks pretty good before we had nothing. Now we turned this about a half and half a turn on the adjuster nut and uh, I think we have plenty now. Now if I take this bike out and I still feel like it's binding up, I'm gonna have to come back and give it a turn. But at this point, it seems to have about an inch of travel and uh, I think I'm gonna be happy with that it's pretty easy to do as you saw all I got to do now I did knock it around to make sure it was lined up side to side and uh, push back now what I should do when I tighten these back down is throw a rag or a screwdriver in here just to pull it super taut so that is what you're supposed to do. But I can't really turn the wheel being that it's on the ground. So I guess what we'll do, we'll tighten it back up, put the lock nut, tighten that back down, tighten the axle and take it for a spin. And if it feels like it's still too tight, I know I need to turn it out a little bit more, but if this is definitely the tightest point in the chain, I don't want the rest of the chain I don't want to err on the side of too loose. And at this point, if it doesn't bind up, I'm actually happy with this if this is the tightest point. So I'm going to run it and I'll let you know how I feel about it. And if it's still bad, we'll do a little more adjustment. But really, this is pretty good travel and I hope it's not binding anymore. And uh, we're good to go. So if you don't see another video on adjusting the chain on this 94 Magna, then uh, I guess we did it right and uh, it's a happy bike. So we're gonna lock these nuts down. Like I said, this is a 12 inch on the other side. It's a 13 for whatever reason. We're gonna throw the 14 on here just to hold that in place while we tighten it and uh, tighten down the axle and we should be good to go. That's what I'm gonna go with and then we're gonna ride it, but it's pretty wet and dark out. So won't do it now. But if you don't see another video on this, we're probably good. And uh, get out and ride, guys. I'll see you in the next one.